Welcome to Strip Trivia, I'm Rachel. We're not trivia buffs, but like the Red Hot Chili Peppers, we are in the buff. Today's trivia theme is pub trivia, which means I should save us all some time and just get naked now. We've got six categories each and 10 articles of clothing on. For every question you miss, you lose an item of clothing. The game ends when someone ends up naked. Today's cheat is Ask Siri, and today's loser has to post a photo with the hashtag adulting. Daniel, are you ready? Yes. Round one starts now. The first category is general trivia. We each have five questions. Daniel, you want to go first? Like answer first? Yeah. Yeah, I'll answer first. Okay. Question one. In what country did the genre dubstep originate? What country? I feel like a, like Berlin has a big club scene. I'm just going to say Germany. No, that's a good guess. Okay. It's um, South London, UK. Oh, well, I was never going to guess the UK. Okay, hat's coming off. Okay, so you have nine articles of clothing. Question two. What type of bird is the subject of a discussion between King Arthur and the bridge keeper in Monty Python and the Holy Grail? All right. I haven't seen that since I was like 10. <sighs> what bird? Um, what is a mockingjay? No. Okay. It's a swallow. All right. What's coming off? Ah, oh, geez, this is escalating quickly. I'm, I'm going to take a one sock off. I don't think we're going to get, like, I think we should do literature next. I don't think we're going to get very far in these. Question three. In the 1996 Summer Olympics, what country won both gold and silver medals in women's beach volleyball? How would you ever know that? What, uh, what year was it? 96. Um, Australia. No, it was Brazil. <laughs> this is too freaking hard. Okay. I'm going to take off the other sock, so at least my feet are the same temperature. Am I going to get any of these right? Question four. What famous document begins when in the course of human events? Just guess the most famous document you could think of. I'm going to guess... um, Can I give you... Can we do hints? These are hard. I was going to guess the Constitution. The Declaration of Independence. Uh, which, what's your final answer? Um, I... Can we do, like, a little bit of hints? Sure. Okay, um, so your hint is Nick, Nicholas Cage. Okay, got it. <laughs> okay. What is the Declaration of Independence? That's correct. Okay. Amazing work, you really got there. <sighs> Finally got one right. Question five, your last question for this category. What phobia is the fear of small enclosed spaces? Claustrophobia. That's way, way easier than the rest of them. Yeah. It's a real grab bag. Question one. What is the name of the Backstreet Boys' first album? Mm. Oh, my mom didn't let me listen to that one. (laughs) So the thing in my brain is Backstreet's back, but why would they be back if they were never there to begin with? This is one you don't want to overthink. I don't. I don't really know their. I know I want it that way. Mm Mm-hmm. That was on that album. Backstreet? Don't overthink it. Just Backstreet Boys? Self-titled? Correct. Oh my gosh! (laughs) Great. (laughs) All right. The oldest bristlecone pine is located in the White Mountains of which state? You know, in case you've been studying tree history. White Mountains of which state? Um... I don't know. I know, just guess. Montana. No, it's California. What's coming off? My hat. All right. Okay. Question three. What shape is the rotor in a Wankel engine? What are you saying? (laughs) Wankel is spelled W-A-N-K-E-L. Sounds German or something. I don't know anything about engines. Bring back Jeopardy questions. Yeah, these are ridiculous. What shape is a rotor in a Wankel engine? Yeah, essentially. I was picturing it like a horseshoe, kind of. Is that your final answer? Yeah. It's a triangle. What's coming off? (sighs) I'm wearing like seven pairs of pants. I'll take one of those off. This is going to be a very quick game, I think. I know. 
Which two siblings created the Matrix franchise? I don't know. Two siblings? Mm -hmm. Is it those one guys? No. <laughs> it's not the Coen brothers. That is who I was thinking. <laughs> the Safdie brothers were probably like teenagers. Yeah. Think of your, your Duplasses. And you have your Olsen twins. Yeah. I have no idea who made the Matrix. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. Wait, no. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. You're gonna Should pass. Should I do Ask Siri? If you want. I mean, we're early on and these questions are pretty hard. So you're gonna need it at some point. But I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna Ask Siri. Okay. Hey Siri, which two siblings created the Matrix franchise? Okay, Lana and Lily Wachowski? Correct. All right. Last question. What company acquired Android Inc. in 2005? Uh, Google. Yeah, Google. <sighs> oh, all right. Welcome back to Strip Trivia. It's like if the Red Hot Chili Peppers did Quiz Bowl. Right now, as it stands, Daniel has seven articles of clothing, and I have eight. Category two is literature. We have five questions, and Daniel's up first. Question one. According to Amazon, what was the top-selling fiction novel of 2014? Okay. 2014. Where was I? I gotta rewind a bit. We were in Evanston. Okay. After the spring? Yeah, all right. So let's see. Hunger Games movies were out. Twilight was maybe in its twilight years already. I feel like that was earlier, maybe. You're in the right neighborhood because it's, it's YA. I'll yeah, say it's that. always YA. Um, Harry Potter, that's come and gone, I believe, unless... Yeah. I think I'm going to say... Can I say one little hint? Yeah. Tumblr was really big in 2014. Tumblr. Is it like maybe a John Green book or something? Let's see. The Fault in Our Stars, maybe? Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl. One of those. I'll say, uh, what is The Fault in Our Stars? That's right. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, question two. The true story of Santa Claus begins with St. Nicholas. What country did he originate from? It's got to be like a, a Germanic language. Uh, Denmark, Germany, Hungary has, um, St. Nick's Day, so that's something. That's Roman Catholic, so, okay, St. Nicholas, I'm just gonna guess, uh, Italy. No, it's Turkey. Okay, Isn't yeah. Isn't that kind of familiar? I don't think I would have gotten there. But probably Eastern Orthodox. Yeah. Okay, what author- well, I gotta take off a piece oh, of clothing. Oh, sorry, yeah, I just forget the point I'll take of off my shorts that are over my three pairs of pants or whatever. <laughs> Question three. What author coined the term nerd in 1950? Oh, I feel like I've heard this. Yeah, this is common trivia knowledge. Yeah. I really don't know. I'm not good with literature. Are we doing hints for each other? Just because these are so hard. Maybe. Just think of a guy who would um, make up a word. I'll get Dr. Seuss. Yeah, it's Dr. Seuss. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Question four. A person who writes books, articles, stories, reports, or other texts that are officially credited to another person is known as what? Ghostwriter. Yeah, it's easy. It's a great TV show when we were kids. Question five. How did Charles Dickens die? Everyone back then died of like dysentery or something. <laughs> Dis I think you mean like consumption. Well, I, was I was making like an Oregon Trail reference. I'm going to guess... Uh, Died of uh, tuberculosis. No, he died of a stroke. Oh, okay. That was simple. I'm going to take off a uh, pair of pants on top of my pair of pants. Alrighty, that was uh, tough. You're up. Okay, don't forget that I was giving you lots of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What name is the monster in Frankenstein referred to in the book? Start with a V? No. So it's not Virgil? No, it's not Virgil, my dear. Tell me what letter it starts with. A. Doesn't sound, that doesn't ring any of my bells. Um, Antoine. No, it was Adam. Adam? Oh, yeah. maybe it was 
like, like biblical. biblical. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll go. I have a bunch of shorts over my pants. I'll take off one of my shorts. Okay. What figure does the fat lady in Franny and Zoe represent? She represent? Yeah. I don't remember that book so much. Me either. I don't. I don't know. Similar to the first question, it's also biblical in nature. There's not. Ladies don't get a lot of airtime in the Bible. Maybe. It's just the old classic Virgin Mary. No, Christ himself is the answer. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll take off some more shorts. All right. Okay. Give me a better one. What disorder did Robert Lowell, Sylvia Plath, Virginia Woolf, and Patricia Cornwall all share? Mm. Uh, maybe... Bipolar. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Correct. According to the 2014 poll by Rolling Stone, what Stephen King book was listed as number one? In 2014, what Stephen King book was listed number as number one? at what? I don't know what they... I don't know, but that's the question. Mm. I have not heard of this book. Carrie? No, it's The Stand. Okay. This uh, is tough. <laughs> okay, okay, what are you taking? I just took off a sock. All right, things are heating up. All right, your last question. Oh. Hello, goodbye was the greeting of the Trafalmadorians in what novel by Kurt Vonnegut? I don't know how to pronounce that. Trafalmadorians. Do you recall any such characters? No. It is one of his more well-known more, works. One of his more well-known ones. So you've um, got your, your Slaughterhouse Fives. We have every single one of his novels <laughs> on our bookshelf. I only read maybe maybe half, and probably not even half. Um, so you've got your Slaughterhouse Five, your Cat's Cradles. Those are probably... The, oh, Breakfast of Champions. Uh, I'm going to go Slaughterhouse Five. Correct. Nice. Welcome back to Strip Trivia. It's like if Ken Jennings was in Red Hot Chili Peppers. Right now, as it stands, we're both tied with five articles of clothing, and round three starts now. All right, Danielle, category is pop culture. First question, what are the first names of Simon and Garfunkel? Mm. This is the first time I'm finding out that's not their first names. <laughs> I know we have Art, Garfunkel, and Paul Simon. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, question two. In what state did the band Guns N' Roses form? I think they're from uh, Lafayette, Indiana, where I once lived, so Indiana. No. <laughs> oh, dang. It's the polar opposite. California. Yeah. It's because uh, Axl Rose is was born in Lafayette. That's what it is. All right, I'm going to take off. Um, I'll take off my sweatshirt. Question three. What film features Mel Gibson as William Wallace? Uh, I wonder if it's the, uh, um, the Patriot. I don't really remember his name, but that sounds like an old timey name. I'll say the Patriot. No. What is it? It's Braveheart. Oh, Did I never you, saw Braveheart. You never saw it? No. Hi, Braveheart. All right. Uh, I, but this game's gonna be over before we know. I know. It. I'll take off my shirt. Okay. Question four. What writer created the character James Bond? Uh, I think that's Ian Fleming. Let me just... Uh, Sir Ian Fleming. Yeah, I don't know if he was knighted. I think he was knighted. But for sure Ian Fleming. All right, cool. Last question. In what decade was Saturday Night Live created? It was created in the 70s. Mm-hmm. Do you know the exact date? I thought it was 76. Close. 75. <laughs> One. The musician Childish Cambino appears on what NBC show? That's Community. Yeah, and he also appears in the 30 Rock, too. Name the four actors that play the news oh. team in Anchorman. The news team That's in kind Anchorman? Of fun. I don't actually... I don't know people's names very well. Let's um, see how close you can get, and I'll give you... Point. Can I do two of the four? 
you have to give me three and then at least a character name for the fourth. That's... I don't know. I can't even picture them. Just start naming them. I know Will Ferrell for sure. Okay. And I know Steve Carell. Okay. Oh, Paul Rudd. Yeah. And then the fourth is like the um, crude. He always plays like this crude, loud. I think he may be the weatherman on, on Anchorman. He's a, he's a similar character in The Office. Oh. I don't know what his name is. Do you know his character name in The Office? Well, he's a traveling guy. Yeah. It's David Koechner. Yeah, I don't know that guy. Yeah. I think you can have that Did one. Did I get there? You kind of got there. We'll, we'll, otherwise, this episode will be too short, so, you know, we'll make some judgment calls. So I feel can, I feel okay about it. Do you yeah, feel okay I, about it? I bet it? you do. <laughs> yeah, let's move on. Okay, what's next? What musical instrument is associated with Robert Moog? Moog? Yeah, M-O-O-G. You yeah, may have Moog. seen that written... You know, at a concert somewhere, on a piece of instrument, on a piece, on an instrument. Moog. It's definitely not a keyboard. It's probably what you think of as a keyboard, but that's not that's not the correct answer. I'm not oh, gonna give like you a more. synth. Like a synth, yes. <laughs> synth final answer. What's the full name? Synthesizer. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I, you wouldn't have accepted synth? No, I would, but I'm just being, um, you since Jennings? you got so many hints that I, I just really <laughs> want you to work for that one. Question number four. What is the name of Mickey Mouse's dog? Pluto. Yeah. What's this category? Pop culture. Who said music can take you back in time to that place when you first fell in love and really haunt you? Sounds like a big pussy. Um... I think I said that in my life journal. Sounds like Olivia Rodrigo. Um, I'm gonna go with Prince. No, it's Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. <laughs> All right. No. Let's get out of here. What, what are you gonna take off? Oh, I just took off another sock. All right, let's uh, move on to the next one. Welcome back to Strip Trivia. Red Hot Chili Peppers would love half of this show. Right now, as it stands, Daniel has three articles of clothing, and I have four. At this rate, we're not going to get through all the categories. <laughs> it's going to be a short episode. We're just not that good. Okay, up next is our fourth category, science and tech. Daniel's going first. Your question is, in what year did Steve Jobs pass away? I just uh, saw that um, Tim Cook did like a in memory of tweet, because it was like the anniversary of his death, I think. I am feeling like my inkling is 2011, but... Go with your gut. <laughs> All right, well, 2011. That's right. Okay. Good job. Okay, question two. Solar power generates electricity from what source? Are you serious? <laughs> what is this game? Um, the sun. Is that good enough? Sorry. We were looking for... Psych, it's the sun. <laughs> Question three. What does CPU stand for? Central Processing Unit. That's correct. Question four. Firefox, Opera, Chrome, Safari, and Explorer are types of what? This is insane. Internet browsers. <laughs> yeah. Well, Sorry, we were actually looking for web browsers. Web browsers, yeah, okay. My bad. In what decade were the first genetically modified seeds planted in the U.S.? I have no idea. I'm not an agriculture guy. I feel like maybe um, maybe it's more recent. Guess the 1990s. That's right. Okay. Did you get get out on skate? Oh, yeah. I still have all my clothes on. <sighs> Hit me. All right. Which is the largest planet in our solar system? Ooh, the largest planet in our solar system? I think Jupiter feels big. Yeah, I'll go Jupiter. Yep, you're right. Nice. What is the largest ocean on Earth? Are you kidding me? I think it's the Pacific Ocean. Hands down, it's the Pacific. Let's go Pacific. These questions are wild. What are the largest land-based mammals on Earth? Land-based? I know elephants are pretty big. That'd be an elephant. Are female or male lions better hunters? I know female lions are great at hunting. 
So what's your final answer? I'm going to go female. Yeah. Why would they even say, like, why would exactly. I even question? And yeah. Okay. Question five. What is the name of a person who studies earthquakes? Seismologist. Yeah. Great. All right. Well, yeah, that was uh, the, somehow the easiest category. So let's move on. We, we deserved that one. We earned it. Yeah. Welcome back to Strip Trivia. Like most of these questions, I actually have no idea who the Red Hot Chili Peppers are. <laughs> As it stands right now, Daniel has three articles of clothing and I have four. Category five, history, politics, and geography starts now. Daniel, question one, what is the second largest river in the United States? That sounds like a trick question. The Missouri or the Mississippi? I'll say uh, Mississippi. Yeah, that's correct. Question two, name the first black president of South Africa. Nelson Mandela. Exactly. Question three, what are the three colors on the French flag? Red, white, and blue. Yeah. Question four, Can't what- Can't wait for the train. Mm-hmm. Okay, Daniel, question number four, what is Japanese currency called? Yen. That's correct. I should have I had so much time to think of a joke. Yeah, no, that's the correct answer. <laughs> yeah, that's opportunity missed, <laughs> for sure. Okay, question five. What was Times Square in Manhattan originally called? Heritage Square, is that different? That's probably different. I'll just guess Heritage Square. Sorry. Uh, it was called Long Acre Square. All right, pants are coming off. Number one, what is the capital city of Italy? The capital city of Italy? Mm -hmm. Is it not Milan? Is that your final answer? Yeah, that's my final answer. No, it's Rome. <laughs> What's going off? Uh, Take off that hoodie. I'm taking, oh uh, yeah, I'm taking off my hoodie. Which U.S. state became the first to give women the right to vote in 1869? <sighs> Massachusetts. No. What is it? It is one you would not expect. Texas. No. It's Wyoming. What are you going to take off? All right. Um, my last shirt is like a split bra. Question number three. In what decade did Pope Francis assume the papacy? I have no idea what most of those words are. Papacy? Does it mean when did he become Pope? Pope Francis? Is he currently the Pope? Yeah. In what decade did he become it? Yeah. It's like relatively recent history. So. 2010s? You're correct. Uh, it was 2013. Question Wait. number four. When was the New York Times first published? 1851, 1861, or 1871? None of those sound right. <laughs> Um, Give me your guess. How about 1851? That's it. Question number five. What misleadingly named war actually lasted 115 years? Maybe it's the 100 years war. That would be it. All right. We are tied up as we enter the last round. <sighs> okay. Welcome back to Strip Trivia, where, by the way, we are very cold now. I get it. As it stands, Daniel has two yeah. articles of clothing left, and I have two articles of clothing left. It's tied. The last category, sports, starts now. May God have mercy on my soul. <laughs> now I'm at a disadvantage because I go for, and you know, I'm going first. We should really be going back and forth. Oh. Don't you think for the last category we should go back and forth? Okay, let's go back and forth for the last category. Okay. Question one: Who won the gold medal in men's singles tennis at the 2012 Olympics? I wonder if Federer was still, you know, I, he might have. That's he might have been retired. I don't know. And there's that um that British guy Andy something, and then there is that maybe Italian I would, guy. I would follow the British lead. Yeah, Andy. Um, Andy. Can I give you a hint? Yeah, please. The what's the name of the dog on Mad About You? Andy Murray. That's yeah. correct. Oh. Is that the British guy? That's the British guy. Good job. Kind of. 
What Washington, D.C.-based NBA team underwent a name change in the 1990s? <laughs> I have to know, first of all... Just the NBA team. I have to know two of their names? Um, no, I think if you just give me one of the names, it's fine. NBA team in Washington? I don't know. Washington... It's alliterative. No. War- Warriors? No, that's in California. Michael Jordan played on them in the latter years of his career. What? No, he didn't. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, he didn't. (laughs) Yeah, what what would you name a basketball team? Weevils. (laughs) The Washington Weevils. Very uh, threatening, intimidating. Was it on NBA hang time? Maybe their old team name was. But I have to know the new team name? Yeah, give me at least one of the team names. Did I say Wizards? Wizards. Yeah, it's the Wizards. (laughs) Suck it. <laughs> wow. Their old team name was the Bullets, and obviously that's... Um, that was, I don't think that was on hang time. I don't remember that That's one more well. violent, and they didn't want that imaged with Washington, D.C., so they changed it to the Wizards. What is the national sport of Bhutan? Of Bhutan? Mm-hmm. It'd be like cricket or soccer. I don't know. Or unless it's like some like highlight or something. Okay, let me give you a hint. This is more of a sport where you use your upper body than your lower body. Like you might do it at summer camp. So skill that might come in handy in an apocalyptic scenario. Like slingshot. Where only children survive. Oh, archery. <laughs> yeah, it's archery. So I'm. I, there's no way I'd ever guess that. I'm okay. okay with it if you're okay with it. All right, yeah, this is hard. Let's just try to get through this. <laughs> okay, you're up. <laughs> when fishing, what do you attach to the fishing line as an indicator of when a fish has bitten the bait? So what I'm thinking of, I've been in the vicinity of people fishing before, and I know there's um, like a little red and white ball that they attach to it. Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, I think so. My brain's saying buoy, but that's not right. It's close. Yeah, it starts with a B, no? Mm-hmm. I, I've filtered through so many questions for you. I don't know. Buoy. It's a bobber. Bobber. Okay. I'll take off my pants. Okay, for you, in what sport would you hear the terms stale fish and mule kick? Um, stale fish? That sounds like a snowboarding. I'm going to say snowboarding. That's correct. <laughs> Playing those uh, SSX games on uh, Xbox paid off. What sport features beaters and chasers as well as a keeper? Beaters, chasers, and a keeper? Y- I don't yeah. know a lot about lacrosse. I'm they gonna, know that they do some fighting. You want a hint? It's like a, it's like a made-up game from a Every, work of fiction. Is it from that Wes Anderson? Fantastic movie? Mr. Fox. Yeah. No. A made-up game from a piece of fiction. Yeah, like people play it, but not like in the fiction. I don't. I don't. Do I know this? Um, I think you've heard of it, but you don't know the work of fiction it's from. I don't know the work of fiction it's from. You haven't read it. How do you know what I read? I know what you, I know. You haven't read this because we talked about it, and I have. Oh, you read it. <laughs> is that? It is associated with the millennial generation. The millennials. The most. Oh, it's oh, is it from Harry Potter? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's one of those things that if you don't know it, you just ignore it. I bet. <laughs> That's what you do. But I'm pretty sure you've heard of it at least. What is muggle? <laughs> M- muggle ball. <laughs> Harry Potter fans everywhere are dying laughing. No, um, it's Quidditch. Quidditch? That's yeah. what Quidditch is? Yeah. I thought Quidditch was a board game that we played at your parents' house. <laughs> that, what am I thinking that, of? <laughs> that's Quib- Quiddler. <laughs> well, that's Okay, it. that's my bra. Uh, well... Now that I finally got you naked, <laughs> I feel like we should... Keep it going? I feel like we should do more trivia. <laughs> <laughs> Strip Trivia is written, recorded, and produced by us, Rachel Galata and Daniel Inski. You can find out more about us online under the name Mango Street Lab. That's all for this one. See you next time.